thing with caramel sauce. But this is the beauty. So Alice and I were just chatting. So the key word here is leftover. Exactly. So tell me about what you love to do in terms of just teaching and showing people what they can do with their leftovers. Exactly that. I like people to use what you already have at home. It's sustainable, it's budget friendly, and it's you know the way to cook. So what we're using here is leftover bread. You know, you always have the loaf oh, I left over. Do. Yes. And then these kind of bits. You always end up with like six chocolate chips <laughs> left and some nuts. You could use dried fruit in here. I always get mad at my sons for leaving right. just a few, but now I know I can do something with it. Exactly. So I actually polled my followers on social media to see which things they have left over. So over our six week series here, which I'm we're excited use about. Up, use up those ingredients in different ways. So we're gonna start with a, a big start easy with the win. Big easy one. Yeah. So what other ingredients do you have over here? So we're using a variety of chocolate chips, okay. we have eggs, sugar, vanilla, um, a little cocoa powder, uh, regular sugar, and then the leftover bread. Oh, and sorry, a little milk, cream, half and half, whatever you have. It's really, really flexible. And now for putting these together, could you kind of use really anything you have, at least on the dessert side of things? You, you know, eggs are mandatory, and the bread is mandatory, and then some kind of milk. But you could even use almond milk, oat milk, if you want okay. to keep it dairy-free. Bread pudding is amazing because it's like baking for non-bakers. Oh, um, okay, yeah. Really, <laughs> as long as you have the eggs, some kind of creamy liquid, and the bread, you can't get this wrong. Oh, I love that. And this really has become a passion for you, teaching Absolutely. people to do this. Yep, I teach, um, I do corporate presentations, I have online courses, and then on my social media, I do lots of tips about using up the leftovers that you have in your fridge. It's so smart because I know so many viewers and so many families that have way too many leftovers, so I know love that we can do something with them. I'm gonna be taking notes myself, yes. and also in the next segment, we're gonna be talking about a really fun contest that we had called What's in Your Fridge Contest. Yes. So Will is gonna share all the details on that, and right now, actually, we're gonna head back over to Will. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen Chef. Allison Mumford's here from Ends and Stems. What's in your fridge contest? We par partnered up with our friends at Gills, and you are able to win a beautiful, beautiful uh, refrigerator. Today we have chocolate leftover bread pudding with caramel sauce on the menu tonight. Yes. Looks good. So I love good. chocolate it smells too. amazing. I know. This is a winner. I figure yes. we're gonna do we're gonna do six episodes. <laughs> Scored major points with this one, Alison. With leftovers that are reinvented. Mm -hmm. So I actually asked all my followers on social media, you know, what things are left over, and that's where I came up with the sort of six lessons we're gonna go through. Got it. But bread is always a big one. Okay. The other one I was really excited about is in your baking drawer or whatever, you always have these extra bags. There's yes. like little bits, a few chips left. Right. Not quite enough to eat all of them, but well, you need I to do, do something with them. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I mean that's one way. That counts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today we're going to use sliced almonds, I have white chips and dark chocolate chips, and we're going to reinvent this bread into bread pudding. Got it. Bread pudding is baking, but it's foolproof. You can't mess up this type of baking, okay. so it's a great way to go. So this is just, just the chocolate that you've used there, you've melted it down, right? This is chocolate and a little cocoa powder okay. with some heavy cream or half and half. You could use dairy-free milk, it works just as well, and right. then a little bit of sugar. So the sugar goes in here. You want to simmer this and then let it cool so you don't curdle your eggs. Got it. And then we're basically just mixing this. And by making it chocolate in the cream mixture, the bread is going to get fully chocolatey oh. looking. And then we'll add some chips into the bread as well so that you bite into the chunks oh, of chips. Oh, come on. And then the same with the almonds. And then there's that vanilla right, yeah, here. right here. If you want to just pour, pour that in. in. Vanilla for flavor. You do a pinch of salt in here. Got it. Got it. Hey, I'm taking it. Yeah, there you Jacket's go. coming off. Hang on. Jacket's coming off. There we and go. And this bread is two days old. It could be three days old. As long as you can slice through it and tear it up into cubes. It'll be fine. You can use a variety of ends of bread. If you only have this much left, let's say after dinner one night, yep. put this in your freezer, and then when that happens three times, you'll have enough to make this to recipe. To make this recipe. So you can Got save it. it for later. No need to throw in stuff away. And we're going to just pour this in here. Now... With the magic of TV, I'm going to show you this fully baked. <laughs> now, just so you know, <laughs> Stephen, who who's works here at, at, at the station, he's over on the side, and you're pouring that in. All I hear is, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how? what's not to like, right? Right. Um, you can make this with gluten-free bread. It really doesn't matter. It's, Look, and, and you if you're can't... Just, yeah, I mean, you got to go all in. You can't mess it up. That looks um, fantastic. So ideally, you would let this sit for about half an hour. What that does is it really lets the liquid absorb into the bread, mm -hmm. and then that transforms it to the final pudding afterwards. Right. And then we'll take a little crock like this, put a little butter on the inside, and then just fill it up. Right Got so it. you can use little ones. This is amazing if you're doing a dinner party and you want to make small portions. Sure. Or you can make a big family-side portion. Oof. 
and then after it goes in the oven, it goes right. in for about 45 minutes at well, 325. Yeah, kind of like almost crisp it up on the top. And it crisps top of on the top, but underneath it kind of transforms into a pudding. Got it. But we have to talk about this caramel sauce. Yes. Now I'm telling you, I I think this is how my grandmother used to make yes. caramel when, when she would make it. This is very old school. So this, it doesn't have a label on it, but this is a can of condensed milk. This also, I guarantee, is in everybody's cabinet because you bought too many at Thanksgiving. And you don't know what to do And you don't it. know what else to do with condensed milk. In fairness, this won't go bad, so this isn't really a perishable that you need to use up, but it's so fun. You actually boil it without the label in a pot right. for about three hours. Then you have to let it fully cool. Got don't it. open this while it's hot. It, it will it. explode. <laughs> and when you open that, it, there it is. it's caramel. It's like a dulce de leche, and it's amazing. You could warm this up a little bit to make it more, like, you know, able to be drizzled. Right. Or you just put it kind like of little in little clumps. scoops right on top. And then my favorite way to top this is with the secret ingredient is Maldon sea salt. So right. this is a nice, like crunchy, large like larger crystal. Larger pieces of it, And right? the combination of chocolate with salt, you know, it's really popular for the past couple of years to put sea salt on top of a chocolate chip cookie. Right. And obviously on top of caramel. You probably had like salted caramel oh, ice God, cream yeah. or something. Sure. So you just sprinkle a little bit on top of there. I added a little extra whipped cream, which is, you know, a little gluttonous, but you know, that's how we like it. It's, it's dessert. That looks and amazing. Then, you know, this would serve one or two or... <laughs> or just have it yourself, whatever it works. Yeah. So just so everyone knows, you can go to our website, What's in Your Fridge contest. You can enter to win the, the beautiful uh, Bosch fridge from Gill's Appliances. And you're going to be here every Tuesday yeah. because one of your things is, is not wasting food. And we know how expensive food is, exactly. and there's no reason uh, to, to waste, exactly. waste food. And it's better for the planet. It's one of the easiest, most sustainable things you can do at home that doesn't require any special equipment right. or any extra money. Right. Eat what you already have. Sounds it's good, good to the wallet, too. Sounds good to me. Thanks so much. I'll be, I'll, I'm happy you're coming in every Tuesday. You can go to our website and enter that contest. Just look for what's in your fridge right there. Uh, if you would like the recipe for this or even how to make caramel, simple and easy, you can head to our website, roadshow.com.